Even though it isn't your big day, you still want to look and feel your best. Beth Chapman is the owner of the White Dress by the Shore in Clinton, Connecticut, and she joins us to show you what to wear to a wedding this season. It's always fun to talk wedding, Beth. It is. Love it. Love it. Now, if you're a bridesmaid in a wedding, you have a beautiful dress. Is it okay to wear that dress as a guest to a wedding? Absolutely. Of course, as long as the bridesmaids aren't wearing the same dress. That's but, right. Yeah. You know, wedding fashion today, it's all about individuality and personality. So there are a lot more choices with bridesmaids dresses. And inevitably, you can wear them again. All of the dresses I brought today from the boutique happen to all be bridesmaids dresses. And we styled them to show how you can wear them to a wedding as a guest. That's really nice to know that you can use it again. You just spend money on this pretty dress. You want somewhere to wear it. Absolutely. So it's okay to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with the most casual look here. Sure. So maybe a beach wedding, would you say? for this dress here? Yeah, beach, maybe backyard wedding. It's a seersucker fabric from Corinne Moore. Um, definitely a less formal option as a guest to wear to a wedding. We um, styled it with classic pearls and it's just a fun, casual, easy look. It, you can't go wrong for a backyard wedding if you're not sure wrong. if it's, you know, you don't want to dress too fancy, of course, yeah. but it's perfect. I yeah. think it's so cute and perfect for the summer. Great. Now we're going to move on to this dress here, more of a maxi dress style. This is more of a semi-formal look, right? More of a semi-formal look, absolutely. Um, what I love about this dress is it's perfect for an afternoon or even an evening wedding. The print makes it a little bit less formal, mm -hmm. but with the long flowy length, it's, it has a little bit of formality to it. So it's that perfect middle of the road um, semi-formal look for um, and late afternoon into evening wedding. And it's comfortable. Yeah, light, airy for the summer, it's perfect. And then if you go on vacation, of course, you can bring it with you so you can wear it again and again. Absolutely. Which is always nice. Now, this dress I love, this is <gasps> more know. the formal look. Yeah, this is a more formal look. This is from Jenny Yu. Um, it has this gorgeous um, metallic dot in the fabric. So with a little bit of the metal and the gold, it makes it feel a little bit more formal. Of course, it's not full length. You don't always have to wear a full length dress to a formal evening wedding. Um, with this gold and this metallic and having a great statement necklace, it really makes it feel a little bit more special and a little bit more dressy. Yes, yeah, so you can really add some more um, pizzazz to a dress when you accessorize. Absolutely. Love and accessories. Like here. It can really change does the look of a dress and it really what is what changes these dresses from bridesmaids dresses to a dress that you can actually wear to attend an event. A lot of guests wonder, are there any faux pas or is there anything that is not appropriate to wear or appropriate to, to do when you are attending a wedding? Well, you always want to avoid white, of course, oh, of as course. a guest of the wedding. Um, but other than that, I think what's really important is to pay attention to the formality of the wedding. So when you get the invitation, take note of the formality of the invitation itself, the time of day that it's taking place, so that you can choose the appropriate attire for the wedding. Yeah, and you can get a sense when you get that invitation Absolutely. in the mail if it's really frilly and fancy or if it's much more casual and low key. And the venue sets the tone as well, you of know, course. based on where the wedding is taking place. Yes. And then other than that, I think the other thing that's really important is just to pay attention to any cultural or religious traditions. Um, if the ceremony is taking place in a church or somewhere of a religious nature, all of these dresses, of course, are strapless, so it's important to always have a wrap with you, not only for warmth, but also just to cover your shoulders in case you are in a church or a synagogue or um, in a place where you need to have Very a little coverage. Very good point, Beth. And yeah. really quickly, shoes. Yes. Are flip-flops okay to wear with, say, a maxi no. dress? No, so what no flip-flops for a wedding. Um, a great sandal, you know, a neutral shoe is always great to have in your wardrobe because it goes with everything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first look, you could even pair a flat with it. Um, but just a great casual summer shoe, not a flip-flop. And then with the other two looks, I would probably do a heel great. or a wedge. And of course, if you want to kick them off once you start dancing, that's okay. Sure. Yeah. But comfort you know, you, is key. You want to, yes. of course, make sure that you After dress the appropriately. Pictures. Well, coming up in the show, we're going to talk about the mother of the occasion dress. So stay tuned. We'll be back with Beth in just a bit. Thanks so much, Perfect. Beth. Thanks. Whether it's a casual summer beach wedding or a more formal celebration, you want to be sure you look your best. Beth Chapman is the owner of the White Dress by the Shore in Clinton, Connecticut, and she joins us to show you the latest trends for Mother of the Occasion. This is always exciting, the mother of the bride and the groom that we're going to talk about now. Now, well, you have some examples here that you um, are for really just for the mother of the occasion. So we're going to start here at this one over here. This one's very classic, sophisticated, Very beautiful. classic, a little bit more of an informal look, mm -hmm. um, you know, especially because of the this color and this pale blush, which is very popular right now, um, it has a little bit more of an informal feel. Of course, if this were in a gray or a black, it would be a little bit more formal, but this is for a more informal wedding, maybe an afternoon garden wedding. Would you say for the summer, as far as you season? You know, this sort of transcends season. The color makes it a little bit more spring-like, but this can certainly um, 
go into fall as well. Now everyone says to the bride, make sure you look for your dress first. You know, make sure you get it so you're not stressed out. What about the mother of the occasion? How soon and how far in advance should they find their dress? They really need to allow time for themselves as well. Mothers tend, to, as you know, to put themselves last. Yes. But, you know, they really need a good, I would say, five months we recommend at the boutique to order. You know, all of our dresses are special order and they take about three months to manufacture. And then, of course, you want to have enough time for a nice, slow process with your alterations. So five months is a good amount of time. Yeah, order because then you're not stressed out. The exactly. last thing you want is stress. There's so much to think about. So <laughs> exactly. that's right. Exactly. We'll move on exactly. to this dress here, which is very, very classic and tailored. This uh, is tailored. a beautiful, classic look from um, Siri, a company out of San Francisco that we carry. And it's a nice... Um, dress that can go either way. It can be for a semi-formal wedding or a more formal wedding if a mom is opting for a shorter a shorter s silhouette. Now, this is a more, I mean, it's not, you know, it obviously looks like it would be very formal, but if the bridesmaids are wearing long dresses, do you suggest that the mother of the occasion should also be wearing long or does it not matter? It really doesn't matter. You know, there really aren't any rules anymore. I think the thing that's most important is that the mom is comfortable mm -hmm. and that she's in a silhouette that flatters her and makes her feel beautiful. And this is a more neutral color, so this may go with any any color, but do you think they should also be in this, I mean, there's all the pictures and everything. They should kind of be in the same with color scheme as the bridesmaid or no? Traditionally, yes. Mothers tend to stay within the color palette of the bridal party, but we're seeing everything now from everyone wearing the same color to everyone wearing whichever color they choose. So again, I think the most important thing is that there is a little bit of consistency um, between the two moms, um, but that the moms are wearing colors that they look good in, that flatter them in their skin tone, and that work within the overall palette, not necessarily matching with the bridal party. There's no right and wrong. No right, right and wrong. As long as you feel good. Yes. Yes, that's yeah. what it's all yeah. about. Now we'll move on to this dress over here, which is so beautiful. It's definitely more of a formal look, would you say? This is our most formal look. Yeah. Um, you know, black black is a tricky subject for weddings. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, it's up to the bride whether or not she would like the mothers to wear black. But this is a nice evening look with the neutral underneath it and a touch of lace. It gives it a nice level of um, formality. And of course, if, if it's a chilly night or it's an evening wedding, you have the wrap as Our well. Our moms tend to like to have a little bit of coverage for their arms. This particular style is strapless um, and then has this beautiful little shrug that can be removed um, for, for dancing later on in the evening. And everyone's going to be dancing. Of, of course, course. It's a it's celebration. A party. It's a yeah. Party. Yeah. And let's talk access accessories real quick, Beth. Like this right here, this has a neckline that really does work with a, a really ornate necklace. Yes, you know, this necklace really helps to bump this look up and mm -hmm. make it a little bit more formal and a little bit more fun. You know, accessories are another way to bring personality into your look. Um, with this one, we paired it with just a simple little um, drop. This is from a designer called Aquina that we carry in the boutique. And the first look, I opted to not do a necklace. Um, that with all the lace by the face, that was enough detail. So I think a simple earring and perhaps a bracelet with that look would be um, just perfect. I love how you matched it all up, Beth. It looks beautiful. It just it gets you so excited for wedding season. It you does. Know, just everything. Thank you so yeah, much for being you're here. You're welcome. Thank and you. And we'll have more Mass Appeal coming up right after this.